Hello friends, today we are going to learn about how to bind the drop down in ASP.NET Core. So let's check the example and I can show you that how we can utilize the ASP.NET Core. Here I have created a new project ASP.NET Core in MVC with the controller views. In the default view of the home index page, I have just written a few codes. Let me explain to you one by one. But before we can check the home controller side, here we have index methods, the default methods and in the default method i have written one country view models as pass into the view what contains in the country view models let's we check it down okay here we have the one property is id and the another property is countries with the list of selected list items select list item is part of the asp.net core mbc rendering class so we utilize it and there will be two properties values and text so here i have given the few countries name with the value and text so how we can bind this country's drop down on the ledger page we can see that okay so hi here i have passed that country view models into the view so let's right click and go to the view so you can see here we have import our, our model is country view models and we have the form where we have s this controller as the home controller and sp dash action is the index control index as action okay and here is our main focus for the binding the drop down so we, as you seen we have two properties in our country view models one is the id so we have bind with the asp-4 with the id and whatever this countries we bind in the asp-item so asp-item is one kind of creating loop inside that and bind this all the options or we can say the all the available countries from this model and if you want a default options on the top then you can give it that as a static one so whatever the op whatever the country is binding it will be binding after the statement and written this options options something like that okay and here at the bottom we have them one button submit button as save button when we click on the save button it hit the submit and form, submit the form on the index methods with the post structure okay so let me show you to the here as well okay here we have the TTP post where's the index as action and we got as a whatever the model we bind with the index the CSS to page so here I have put it the debug point and we can check that whatever drop down will select from this drop down and that value will be bind to the our ID property from the country view model okay let's it run and we'll see okay so you can see the select countries which you which is our default options and there are the couple of countries whatever we bind as a static in the list these are the populating here if I select Canada and just hit the save button so you'll see in the bay in the controller side okay the ID get two because that ID will be two so that will be populated here as a Canada okay let me continue to it and I can select the India so you can see one two three India is the three right so we hit the and we'll get it ID is three okay so this is the simple way we can bind the drop down and that is the ASP.NET ASP items and that will utilize as an inbuilt, con inbuilt class that will be a select list item so hope you guys you like and enjoy this video Please subscribe my channel, if like and share my videos. Thank you guys.